right, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. Where I'm stuck with you guys, and we are always smiling. Um, I'm still by the River Paradise place, basically. Today should be my last day there. Um, I had no quite guide as to what I was gonna do here. I didn't bring my cooking pan or any other stuff like that, so I'm basically without tools or equipment. However, I do want to do some cooking here. Maybe I'll do something that requires no frying pan. Um, the aim right now is to get some fish, you know, to catch the day and see what I can do with it. Um, if I get this fish, then I'll be able to actually stay and make more and more content. But if I don't get anything, then I might just go home tomorrow. Um, let's see. That's the whole vibe right now. Um, yeah, a lot of big stuff happening in the, in the works. Hopefully you guys will get to see it if you, you know, continue to watch more videos. But let's see what I'm going to get today for the catch today, hopefully. Let's see. So usually when you're in the Ocho Rios area, um, you're going to have some fishermen who will be on either side of the road. You know, they just come from sea because the beach is towards the left. Towards the right, sorry. So you guys might be able to see the beach there in the long shot. Um, so yeah, fishermen normally come up, so if you are in Ocherios or the same area here by chance, anywhere close to the beach, just come out a bit early and you should be able to see some fishermen with some um, fish. And yeah, if you want to do any you know fresh catch, stuff like that, that would be a chance and opportunity. Um, okay, Pool World is open, which is across the road there. I kind of want to stop there because I did get a new fishing rod. Um, a spinning reel type of thing that I want to go fishing. I'll take you guys back here fishing um, sometime in the future. So let's stick around for that. That's going to be some great content as well. Oh, I think I'm lucky. Catch of the day. Yes. Woo. <laughs> guys, I'm so excited. Yo. Woo. Freaking awesome, man. You have some fish. Yes, brother. You know anything, you said, Malcolm? You have more. You might go over the side and come link you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. yeah, man. Uh, do you think? So it's a woman and a man fish. Where, where? Like me, the love. The love. <laughs> love me. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm to them part. I think I want um, a nice size part. Yeah, know. man. Yeah, no problem, yeah. How you normally do you part them? Like, is a good frying fish or a roasting yeah, fish? Any, any, anyway. Yeah. All right, but why? Them on the yeah, more on the flesh on them. Yes, you know, All right, cool. You know, flesh, huh? All right, that then, no? All right, how much? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> yeah. Why price on them, I know? All right. Well, this is the one we are selling, this one. Uh, yeah. Six, but we're not just it for five. Five thousand five hundred. But this, this? Yeah. We have a pound. A pound? Yeah, and this is a pound of so everything, a pound. So, so here it is. Alright, so I'm about igloo with some that is on the ice right now. So, I'll go order some of that. Alright, so here's the thing guys. I basically just got the fish just now. And um, I spent $5,000 on it. I didn't even weigh the fish to be quite honest. Um, right now in a situation with the whole COVID and a lot of persons out there who... They need to make some money. So if I got cheated $1,000 or whatever, it don't really matter. You know, God has a funny way of working things out to make you know, things go good. So right now I'm just hoping that these fish that I got, I can actually make some good content on that. So I can pay for my time at this river paradise place and also, you know, pay back for the fish. Um, if I felt it, uh, off the top of my head, probably felt like uh, maybe about four pounds. I think part fish sells for like 700 per pound or whatever the case is. Plus it's scaled and gutted already. So uh, let's see. YouTube and God and life has a funny way of working out. All right. So basically this is what I got. You can see another better camera here. Um, if you went to a restaurant in Jamaica, probably you're spending about, I don't know, maybe three, five on this when they cook it up and everything like that, maybe. That's yeah, guesstimating. And here, um, with the biggest snapper, mm, yeah, maybe this is about 4,000 you'll be spending. So you're spending about like seven, seven thousand dollars a boat on the fish. But anyway, guys, drop it in the comments if you think like five thousand dollars was um, a good spend on it. Um, give and take and let me know all right guys so basically it's the next day yeah it's pretty noisy 
but I have to eat, so I'm just gonna make this really quick. Um, first thing I'm gonna be working on is going to be the Escovitch, which is basically a simple thing. It's just some carrots, onions, peppers, and you soak it in some vinegar for a little bit. Um, you can choose or choose whatever color peppers you want, or if you want to use carrots or not, it really don't matter. All right, so let's chop this up really quick and leave it up. Almost forgot for the fun of it. I just want to add a little bit of sugar just to give it a slightly sweet flavor, just a little bit. I'm just gonna pop this into the fridge. All right, so now, oh, yo, let me improve the quality. I forgot that I have a mic for this camera. Let's do that. All right, so here we have our power fish and everything. Now, the really cool part about this, what I like is that this particular salesman, he has, uh, I think, nicely sized parafish, they're not too small. Um, these are probably the smaller ones. The other ones that are on the line are bigger. So I have a blue one, which is probably like half more the size of this one, which is kind of cool. Um, to be quite honest, parafish is not the kind of fish that I tend to go after a lot. Even though it has a great flavor, it's really nice. It's really nice to eat. But we do know that for environmental concerns, like, you know, it's good to not really overfish them. Reason being, they help to keep the corals safe out here. So now we're basically just going to, um, you know, cut a little, cut one or two slits into the fish. This just helps the frying and of course you can put seasoning in between it. For me personally, if you can't come to be put like two slits into a fish or even three, then it's too small. But this fit this size fish is I think it's a good size um, this one ah, it's okay yeah it's okay I definitely would have preferred to buy bigger ones or for the fishermen to actually catch bigger ones but and this one yeah two slits. So usually fish is very easy to season, it's not the most complicated thing to do. Um, to season a fish you basically just need salt and pepper, which most of us do traditionally. But here we have um, some maggi fish seasoning, I don't know, today I just felt like making my life a little bit easier because this is going to do everything. Usually you have to combine the salt and pepper together, but with this one bam, thank you man, we're basically done. Definitely using another pack because don't usually cook with this. Of course, you try to get some into the gut cavities as well. You want when you bite into the fish, like it's just flavor. A bigger fish, so definitely need more in there. So weird, it's about like. Huh, what time is it? It's about like 4.30 here and the crickets are already out. I can hear them. I guess that's a part of being in a tree house, isn't it? Alright, definitely went for a bit of salt for a bit of black pepper. <laughs> Just to make sure that it tastes like the traditional way. The way how I remember it, so. You get a bit of black pepper so that should be that all right guys so basically i'm just gonna get this pan hot at the moment so drop some oil in there and get it to the hazing point basically the hazing point is a point where there is some form of like steam it's like get the oil gets really hot you can see like a light steam coming from it that's the best point to actually drop the fish in and fry it really quick all right, so I just showed you guys a little hazing point. There's a slight amount of smoke coming off of it. I'm gonna start out with, you know what? Let's start out with a smaller fish first. Drop it in. All right, you're not supposed to move it any at all. Like, right? you don't move it. If you remove it, then it's gonna pull off and be like that. 
To be quite honest, I wish the stove had like a higher flame that I could, you know, maneuver better, but we're working with what we have. So basically we get this fried. I don't like my fish to be fried too dry because if it gets too dry then you're not getting much flesh, yeah? So first one. And then next one. Ooh, look at that. Nice looking fish. Now time to drop the next one in. Oh no, this is a big one. Alright. Alright, so you see we have our kind of unconventional First of all, there's no What you call that thing, baking powder in there at all It's just yeast and flour and a bit of sugar Could be a little bit sweeter but it's perfectly fine Just like that um, Fish there Got the escovitch already I don't want it too cold, so I took it out of the fridge just now So maybe 5 minutes, drop the temperature a bit And we have these here, and look at them man, man. They're just, look at this It's so soft, I'll bite into it and look at it. These are so bready, ridiculous. Alright, so I was explaining to Irene, it's just a vinaigrette kind of. You know, so you can put some of the onions, some of the peppers and stuff in there. If you want, you can throw the vinegar on the fish. I would recommend you just do it kind of slightly, see what it feels like, and then yeah. That's basically it. Alright guys, so basically we're gonna peek in. Um the manager basically tried this and she was like, yo, so great, fried bread. <laughs> That's what they call it, fried bread. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get into this really quick and I'll tell you, you know what I think. And Irene probably just give you a quick review. All right, let's do it. Alright guys, so had my meal, jumped into the river, took a shower there. Um, just to give you a quick review, it was really good. Um, the festival could have been a little bit sweeter, but the texture was perfect. Fish was great. Um, Irene had the fish, she enjoyed the fish, but not the the onions and peppers because she doesn't like pepper. But um, yeah, she loved. They call it fry bread, which they love. But anyway, it's a great dish. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, guys. Remember to see things, love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link.